you are trying to go to your site and this nice surprise is waiting for you. That means Google warns users that your site contains malware. Now don't panic because in this video I'm gonna show you how to clean hacked WordPress site. So if you're interested then jump in. So if your site has been hacked then first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna log into your hosting account and you're going to change your FTP credentials. And if you're using CPAN then it's fairly easy to do. Log in and search for FTP, this one here. There you'll see all the accounts. Delete the ones you don't use and maybe even create a new one and delete all other ones. If you don't want to do that, then just change the password. You can do it here. Change the password and you're good to go. So this is the first thing you're going to do. Next, log into your site and take a look at all the user accounts, especially the ones with the admin role. Delete the ones you don't use and for all other accounts you need to change the passwords. And these are the two first things you should definitely do. It's because maybe your passwords have been leaked or otherwise your accounts are compromised. So definitely change the passwords here. Next, go back to the cPanel and search for the Immunify 360. Open it. And as you see, it's a malware scanner for your site. It displays history and current status. If it doesn't show anything, then press on start scanning and take a look at the results. I'm using the WordPex hosting and it contains the Immunify 360 package. Maybe your hosting doesn't have it. But if it does, then scan your site with this one. Next thing you should do is log into your site, go to plugins, add new, and search for a plugin called WordFriends, this one here. Install and activate it. Next go to WordFence and scan. Press on a start new scan and depending on your site size it may take a while. I already scanned my site and as you see it displays me that there are a bunch of files that contain malicious code. This one here. Now there are two ways for me to proceed. First is delete all deletable files. Do that only if you're sure what you're doing. Otherwise you can open up the details of this file and you'll see the details here. You can also view the file and you'll see that this code here seems malicious though probably it's safe to delete and you can do it here. If you can't access your site and you can't install any plugins then next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the cPanel, open up file manager, open up your site and you're going to delete this one here and this one here. That is WP admin folder and WP includes folder. Also, you're going to delete every file from here to here. But you're going to leave this WP config file undeleted. So you're going to delete every file except WP config and WP content. This folder here, don't delete it. And this file here, don't delete it, otherwise you're screwed. If you can't access your site with a file manager, then open it up using FTP. And mo one more time, I'm gonna delete all the content except WP content folder and WP config file here. I'm gonna delete all those here. Now I'm gonna go and open up WordPress org site, get WordPress, I'm going to download the latest version. I'm going to un unarchive it. Next, I'm going to open up my FTP one more time. And now take a look, I'm not going to upload this folder, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to upload everything here to my site. Why would I do that? It's because I'm going to make a clean install for the WordPress itself. I'm going to replace all the WP admin files, WP includes file and all other files. It's much easier because hackers tend to add the hacked files to the WP admin and WP includes file or they modify the file over there. Just delete those, upload the clean files and you're good to go. So let's upload everything and done. As you remember, we did not delete this file here and this file here. It's because it contains our site database information and user information. 
Next, let's open up the WP content file and see what happens here. Take a look at this file. Silence is golden. That means this file is clean. Now I'm gonna open up all the folders one by one. Plugins, this one here. And as you see, instead of silence is golden, this file here contains all sorts of rubbish, which means this file here is hacked. I'm gonna delete it and upload the original file over there. Next, I'm gonna go back one step and open up Teams, see what happens here. And I'm gonna open up this file. You'll see that it's also hacked. So I'm gonna replace it with a original file. This way you should take a look at all the folders. For example, let's take a look at uploads. There is an index file and once again it's hacked. I'm gonna upload a clean one. Done. What happens here? Once again it's hacked. I'm gonna upload a clean one. What happens here? No files. What about here? Nothing. Nothing. But just to keep it short, as you see, I'm gonna take a look at all the folders in the uploads folder, at all other folders. And if there is something hacked, I'm gonna upload the clean file. Next, you should update all the plugins. If you are able to log into your site, then it's easy to do. Just go to the dashboard updates, select everything that can be updated, that means plugins and teams. But if for some reason you can't update your plugins or teams using the admin panel, then once again you can do it using FTP or your C panel. Just open up the folder, go to the plugins, delete for example this code snippet plugin here. I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to go to the WordPress site open up the plugins, search for code snippets, this one here. I'm gonna download it, back to file manager, upload, this one here. Upload, done, go back, it's here. Now I'm gonna extract it, delete it. Now I'm gonna reload it. And this plugin has been uploaded manually, the same you can do with the FTP, just open up the folder, plugins, delete the code snippets here, extract the folder, copy it to the server, and it's done. If you have some premium plugins, then you can download them from the place you purchased them and upload them one by one. If there are no updates to the plugin, then once again, I suggest you delete the ones you don't use and take a look at the ones you can't update and see whether it contains some weird stuff here. And if everything is done, that means you have updated your WordPress, you have updated your plugins and teams, you manually took a look at all the files that are here in the folders, and you have either deleted or replaced them, then you're gonna log into your site, go to the WordFence scan, and press on start new scan. As you see, this is a previous test. Now I'm gonna wait for a bit and I'm gonna let you know what are the results here. Now, as you see, WordFence has finished the scan and it displays no issues have been found. But to be sure, once again, I'm gonna log into my hosting panel. I'm gonna search for Immunify once again. And just in case, I'm gonna scan with it. If this also displays that everything is okay, next I'm gonna go to the sitecheck sukuri.net. I'm gonna submit my site URL and see what's here. Next I'm gonna go to the virustotal.com. I'm gonna add URL here. For example, this one here. I'm gonna search. It says analysis is in progress. And now it says it's clean. Take a look at all the information. If the Something says not clean, then it may be false positive, but nevertheless, just analyze what's what. If it already says that your site has been scanned, then press on this button here, reanalyze URL, then it's gonna scan it once again. 
And last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings, permalinks, and we're going to resave it. What will it do for us is that it's going to recreate for us a HD access file here. And these are the first steps you should do in order to clean your hacked WordPress site. If after that your site gets hacked again, then probably you're using a vulnerable plugin or theme or there is some kind of a bigger issue over there. In this case, I suggest you to hire an expert or consult with your hosting team. And as you saw, cleaning the hacked WordPress site isn't as difficult as one may think. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.